The European Commission's Humanitarian Aid Department obtained special access for a video news team to enter Myanmar's Irrawaddy Delta, where almost a year ago, Cyclone Nargis killed more than 140,000 people. In addition to the tragic human toll, many people lost their homes and livelihoods as well. It is estimated that around 2.4 million people were affected by the storm. The Commission team travelled by river and helicopter in the area around the southern town of Bogali, where hundreds of villages were devastated. Yes, uh, as we're standing in a remote village in uh, Bogale, it's clear that this community has been hit very hard by the cyclone and even with almost a year on, uh, although the food distribution is sufficient for the moment, it will take a good 18 months on before these crops will be replenished according to what the community said. And people are in dire need of sufficient shelter as well. Um, the European Commission is providing the immediate food now and some of the water supply. But um, what's remarkable really are the people here that have been able to uh, build back with what little they have and their courage and their resilience is clear and they want to move forward and move on. Every village visited had its own stories of horror and tragedy. Elderly people and young children were particularly vulnerable and many were swept to their deaths when the cyclone hit. In one community at least, a story of hope emerged from the devastation. 23-year-old Ma Shui Zin was seven months pregnant when Nargis struck. Despite her condition, she survived the storm, clinging to a tree for several hours with her husband alongside her. Two months later, she gave birth to a healthy baby boy. The European Commission is one of the largest donors helping in the recovery of the Delta region of Myanmar. The focus is now on giving help that will allow the villagers to rebuild their lives and become self-reliant again. The Commission's humanitarian aid is independent and neutral. It goes impartially to those who need it most in crisis zones.